March 2021 Fraser Valley Real Estate Market Update is here. I'm Scott Moe with the Moe Real Estate Team here to get you guys up to date on everything that's going on in this crazy real estate market. Question, is the market slowing down? Stick around to find out. What a busy month March was. In fact, it was the busiest March we've ever had in the Fraser Valley. We sold another 15 homes last month. Overall sales for the month up 131% compared to last March and up 18% compared to February. The previous record for March, uh, amazingly enough, was set in 2016, which was that other crazy year we had where we saw a big bump in sales like this. Now in the intro, I asked the question or, or posed the, the statement, is the market slowing down. The reason I say that, actually market slowing down, I think a better term for it might be, is the market balancing a bit? Because as you know, we are in a crazy seller's market right now with multiple offers and buyers are getting buyer fatigue, they're fed up and I don't blame them. It's, it's a crazy time to try and buy a house. In our last update from last month, you will remember I said that we were getting 30 to 50 showings sometimes on our listings in the first weekend. Monday, we were getting five, six, 10 offers. I mean, just unheard of, of things going on. In the past few weeks though, what we've been noticing is, and, and in speaking with other realtors that I work with in the area, that instead of getting 50 showings, you might only be getting five or 10, which is still a great number, right? And on Monday, instead of getting 10 offers or five offers, you're getting one offer or two offers, which is still great. But some, some homes are not getting offers on Monday anymore. So it just depends where you are, what you're selling, different price ranges, different areas are still going crazy, but some things are signs of things slowing a bit. And the reason for this is the other record that was just set in March. And that was the most amount of new listings in one month that came on to MLS. What was it? 5,087 new listings last month. That's the most ever. So it's supply and demand. As supply increases, demand is still there. I mean, it might be a little bit less than it used to be as buyers buy and some buyers back out of the market, but supply increases, that kind of puts a cap on things, cools things down a bit, bit more choice out there. Buyers might be able to go write an offer on a house and heaven forbid, maybe have a home inspection subject in there or a subject to financing. Because right now offers are coming in subject free. So I think it's a good thing because buyers are gonna be able to have a bit more choice. For sellers, it's not a bad thing. Prices are still holding, they're not dropping. But this crazy acceleration of prices that we've been in is definitely starting to slow down, which Again, I, I think is, is a good thing. So now for the stats, sales in March. Again, busiest March on record, 3,329 sales compared to February, that's up 18%, but up 131% compared to March of last year. Inventory, 5,087 new listings, like I said, uh, up 56% compared to February and up 91% compared to last March. One thing I wanna point out going forward though, you'll see in April and May, and, and a little bit of this for March, you'll see mixed in there. Remember what happened last year with COVID? March was going crazy for us. Mid-March, all of a sudden the shutdowns happened and people stopped listing, took their houses off the market, people stopped buying. So you watch in April, sales were really low last year, and this April are gonna be really high. I wouldn't doubt if they're still like, you know, compared to what they were, they'll probably be like 200% compared to last April. So you have to take it with a bit of a, you know, grain of salt because it was super slow last year. So comparatively, it's gonna be very busy this year. So you gotta look at the overall average over the, you know, 20 years or 10 year average type, rolling average type thing. 5,012 active listings in March, which is up 22% compared to February, down 18% compared to last March. According to the Home Price Index, which measures a benchmark price on, on what's going on out there. Detached homes are up 6.4% in one month. Just crazy. Tw up 25% in one year. Townhomes up 4% in one month, up 13.7% in one year. And apartments up 3.2% in one month and up 6.5% compared to last year. If you do have any questions about this stuff, please do reach out, we're here to help. We've got PDFs of this stuff. We can email you. 
I'd love to jump on a phone call, email, text, whatever. Uh, just reach out to us any, anyway. Uh, 604-533-3491 is our office number. Scott at moteam.ca is my email. We're on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Hope you guys are having a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.